and welcome to It's a Hard Thing. What you resist persists. So I'm gonna talk about that particular phrase as it relates to relationships. And I feel like that's something we all can relate to. <laughs> and it doesn't matter, it could be a relationship with a lover, a relationship with your parents, mother, father, sister, brother, co-worker, or friends. That is what uh, a lot of us actually experience in our day-to-day -day lives, just relating to other people. And, and I want to read a statement real quick or a phrase out of my favorite book here, one of my favorite books, and the author is Sanaya Roman, and it's on page 34. And this is what she says. You cannot leave something until you love it. The more you hate something, the more you're bound to it. And the more you love it, the freer you are. So as you love your past, you are free from it. You can release the past by loving it. So how does that relate to what you, what you resist persist? So think of it like this. The more you resist something, the more you hate something, the more you complain about something, the more it keeps showing up. What you resist is persisting to stay in your life. It's like having that, that big brick wall and, and somehow you think, well, I'm, I'm, I'm angry or they've made me upset or I don't wanna deal with them or it's always this toxic environment. And the, the, the flip side is, is so true. The only way you're going to be able to move past that is that you have to give love to that situation. Now, loving it doesn't mean that you compromise yourself. And I think that's where we get a little bit um, uh, confused. We think, well, if I love something, that means I'm being weak. If I love something, that means that I'm giving in. It's actually the opposite. Because when you go in and you release love to that and you say, you know what, that situation taught me something and now it's time for me to love what I got from it and release it, only then can you move from it. It will no longer show up in your life as a situation. You will no longer find yourself going to sleep at night with a headache and a heartache because you're holding it there. That's all you're doing. When you're resisting it, you're holding on to it. And let me just give you a personal example. I was home a few months ago and speaking with one of my siblings and they were talking about the relationship they had growing up with uh, one of our parents. And they were still um, holding on to it. They were still caught up in the emotions of it. And they asked me, well, why are you not that way? Why are you um, able to not talk about it, not have this, 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 this aching heart? And I, I told him, I said, guys, I had to let it go. Let that go. You, you got to stop resisting that feeling. And I said, because I had to. We all have encounters as children where something happens with or to us that we didn't like. And we go through life carrying that, that load on and on and on and it's a burden it's a heavy burden but when you learn to go back in your mind and say that situation happened and from that situation i learned a lot and that was my parents way of showing me love that was their way of giving me a roadmap to get to where I am today. Now that roadmap may not have felt loving all the time. Trust me, I know some of us have gotten our, 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 our spankings and words that were not so pleasant coming from a parent. But what that did to you is that it actually sharpened you. It actually put you on a trajectory to do things differently, to have a certain uh, ability to 
empathize and sympathize and understand others. So all of that was a gift. It was a gift. It may not have felt like a gift then, but now standing here and looking back on it, you can now change how that affected you. You can go in and release that with love. Stop resisting it. Because if you continue to hold on to it, you will develop all sorts of situations with your body. When your body is in dis-ease, it creates disease. So you find yourself with high blood pressure. You find yourself um, cancer. You find yourself with certain ailments that um, your body is trying to release because it can only hold that stuff for so long. So it is up to you to figure out how you want to move I'm forward. I'm sure a lot of you have heard that statement and it's from this guy named Richard Bach. And his statement says, if you love something, set it free. If it comes back to you, it's yours. If it doesn't, it never was. That is so true. That is so true. You don't hold on to something simply because you're familiar with it. That's what I'm familiar with, so I'm gonna hold on to it because anything outside of that, I'm afraid of. So I'm gonna stick with what's familiar. I'm gonna hold on to the pain. And in the book, Living With Joy, Sanaya Roman goes on to say that change negative memories into positive understandings. And if you can do that, then you can be much quicker and faster into the future. When you allow yourself to remain in that negative space, then you're vibrating at a real low level. Your energy level is real low. And so what happens is that you keep attracting people with that same low energy. So, so there you are dealing with a relationship that has caused you some um, discomfort and you hold on to those negative feelings and you're vibrating at this real low level. And so everybody that you encounter have low energy. And so you're running into people always complaining about something, complaining about their job, complaining about uh, the fact that they don't have enough money, complaining about uh, friends, family, whatever. And you find yourself in this constant cycle of somebody having complaints. So you got to go in and stop resisting. Aren't you ready to move faster and further into the future instead of holding on to things that bring you sadness, discomfort, anguish? If these words touched you in any way, please subscribe. And until next time, I'm Cynthia, and it's a hard thing, guys.